All right. Play the game. Since this is a console game, I actually get to listen to me play the game and see if, uh, you know, it's too loud or not. The 13 days after we awoke were the beginning of the end. Voice acting, no, I, I can't do the can't do the audio levels without the voice acting. Shaky as a suck. So far, so good. They all want to fight. Good for them. Fine when you're listening to music. Ah, so you're in F. Are they black balloons? <laughs> I should have, uh, I should have started a, a Lassie counter for this game. Every time they say Lassie, I just push the counter forward. I wonder if I should cut out the lungs. Yeah, let's view the tutorial. It's it's been a hot minute. You know, 10 10 years at least. All right, time flows continuously through the battle. Watch your ATB gauge slowly uh, as your uh, ATB gauge slowly charges. 
Characters perform actions by expending charged ATB gauge segments. The actions which they perform depend on the commands you select. You can input entire strings of commands, then unleash them all at once. Select Auto Battle to queue up a set of commands tailored to your situation. Select abilities to specify individual commands as you see fit. A description of each command will be displayed at the top of the screen. For now, try selecting Auto Battle Command. Move the cursor to Auto Battle and press X. Uh, two attack actions have just been placed into your command queue. As you learn new abilities, you will use commands other than attack. Uh, it will also become possible to create longer strings of commands. Next, you will need to choose the target of your attacks. When fighting multiple enemies, select your target using the directional pad and press X. You only face one enemy this time, so the choice is simple. Press X to confirm your attack and execute your two attack commands immediately. Once you have finished your attacks, enter more commands and continue fighting until you have defeated the enemy. Note that you will only be able to control the actions of Lightning. Saz will fight on his own, supporting her as he deems best. Good luck from here on out. How you fight is up to you. You understand it's for the cool factor, but rattling off machine gun rounds from a fighter while you're barreling, uh, barrel rolling sure is a good way to ensure you don't hit anything. Well, you know, I mean, if, oh, both not. If, if your target is right in front of you and you know that it's going to hit you in a circular motion, you can just, uh, you, you can do the barrel roll. I believe. Uh, this music so good I think it's like blinded by light or something like that it's called so good let's blitz whatever that means I believe it's zero Saz would have made for a better main protagonist than lightning you know, I understand why people don't like that. Or, uh, lightning, rather. But I don't have any problems with lightning. Lightning's fine to me. Aw, it's because I waited too long, huh? There were some times where I was just like, let me just read chat and not, not continue the battle. Man, it's like my first my first grade and I'm only four out of five stars. Guess I'm a trash video game. I do agree that Saz would be a good protagonist, though. Aren't you supposed to protect civilians, soldier? I mean, you are Sanctum, aren't you? What are you doing trying to stop the Purge? Why don't you tell me that? I was a soldier. Hey, 
Where do you think you're going? Man. Chocobo, we just can't catch a break, can we? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh well. Better follow up. <clears throat> I'm getting too old for this. <clears throat> Amuro control. Ooh. Uh, you possess an advanced digital journal known as a data log that autonomously streams information deemed pertinent. Whenever the data log r records a new entry, a notice will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. To peruse entries, press triangle. Okay, but, but did I give permission to autonomously stream information that it deemed pertinent? You know, did I, did I check that box? Cause I'd probably like to uncheck it. You sure we can get through here? You know, I'm not one for, for knocking on like old graphics or anything like that. But man, does the PS3 look totally different than what I remember it looking 10 years ago. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is inverted. Ugh. Ugh. I should have changed it. Here we go. Let's save. Did I save over that? Nah, we'll we'll keep that for for fun. Uh, we can use it to compare and stuff like that. Because you're not playing on Super SSS, extra hard. Dante must die. Overdrive. No deaths. Delete game if you take damage and no buttons on your controller. How can you ever enjoy a game unless you play it the right way? Some YouTube comment. <laughs> uh, no. My YouTube comments are usually, um, well, not usually. That's, I, I don't wanna give a false impression here. But my YouTube comments that are like that are you weak, pathetic fool, how dare you not play the game on the hardest difficulty? It's so easy. And I'm just like, because I didn't know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know that the game is easy on the hardest difficulty? I don't want to struggle? I'm not going to I'm not gonna test it and be like, oh, this game is so easy on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> like, come on, people. Uh, Many and various enemies stalk the roads that you must travel. Upon entering an enemy's detection radius, the mini-map on the upper right corner of the screen will flash in warning. Coming into contact with any enemy will initiate a battle. I, I think I have to move my camera. Because I'm probably going to be blocking... Oh no, I am not blocking. Anytime you see those comments, you read them in a voice of Eggman from Sonic. Pathetic hedgehog. This is why you will never succeed. That's how I remember Eggman. Cause it ain't it ain't Eggman for me. Okay. What do you suppose this is? Is the army leaving its toys out now? It's Dr. Robotnik. sound settings. It's so disappointing.
Nailed it. <laughs> you refuse to believe that man has a PhD in anything? Getting wrecked by a hedgehog. I don't know if we should be disrespecting the hedgehog like that. He does run pretty fast. You know, I think I remember watching a YouTube video not too long ago about how uh, the TV show The Flash has just gone completely downhill, which I totally agree, by the way. That that show has gone completely downhill. Uh, but they were talking about uh, ways that the character just kind of dips in and out of being overpowered to being absolutely worthless to forgetting lessons that they learn to repeating uh, mistakes that they had learned you know in a, a prior uh, episode or a prior season and it illustrated basically that having super speed is probably the most powerful ability that you could probably have because you can't you can't do anything to someone that you can't see that you can't interact with uh, you just kind of have to sit there and take it so I feel like Sonic is a formidable foe not wanting to get purged I get Taken on trained soldiers? Uh -uh. Better to die than get sent to Pulse. It's hell for the brimstone. Yeah, well, hell's not sounding too bad. Because this place ain't exactly paradise. Domesticated peacekeepers. Nothing to worry about. Well, maybe not for a soldier girl, but I'm trying to say... Hey, 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 hey! I don't know if I clarified it before either, but... I we, um, uh, again, huh? I, I, I think this game looks fine. You know, I don't want to make it seem like uh, I care about the graphics of this game. I've played games that don't look as good as this. Probably how I want to word it. keeps building the same robots expecting a different outcome. Sonic has gone as far as to show Eggman has an intergalactic fleet of spaceships and doesn't just leave Sonic on some planet where or somewhere uh, or dropping him into a star or something. You gotta catch him first. Uh, one of my goals for this game, uh, because uh, Final Fantasy XIII is often used as the poster child for indicating to people that they hate. Um, they hate the, well, a lot of people hate this game you know, uh, for the story, for the voice acting, for the characters. For a lot of reasons. Um, but a lot of people cite the linearity of the game as one of their reasons. And I really look forward to getting to the end of this game and really having my my complete thoughts on how I feel about the linearity of this game because I personally think it's fine. Uh, I I was watching uh, Krayson play Shin Megami Tensei 5 and he was in some dungeons and you know I just made the remark of well I would rather have 
this linear uh this li the linearity of Final Fantasy 13 than I would the maze that is you know this dungeon that he's currently in uh, but you know something I'll probably get to later It makes it easier to find all these treasure chests. You know what you really disliked? Uh, Final Fantasy XIII? But it's grown on you like a fungus in the recent. Interesting. Not something uh, you hear very often. <clears throat> uh, from what I can remember of this game, you know, ten years ago, uh, I really like the combat. I think the combat is super cool, super flexible. Uh, I like it a lot. Preemptive strike. Rebels. So much for the element of surprise. Yeah, let me listen to the combat. Uh, this tutorial explains the use of items in combat. Do I need to learn how to use items? Okay, the game is very quiet. Do I need to learn how to use items? Sure. Uh, whenever your HP runs to uh runs low in combat you can heal yourself using items to avoid being knocked out like the item command let's open your party inventory looks like you have some potions which restore hp when consumed the number next to the item's name tells you how many of that type you have left move the cursor to the name of the item you wish and select like potion And say potion heals your entire battle team. You do not need to specify a target. Using items is a free action, so you will recover HP immediately without expending any charged eight, uh, segments of your ATB gauge. When you find yourself in a pinch, don't hesitate to use a potion. Remember, even if your allies are still standing, uh, it's game over if the enemy manages to KO lightning. Uh, I should turn that into a cardinal sin, huh? Yeah, I, I I can't hear the game at all. We 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 turning up the stream volume. All right, Let's see how that sounds. Just we do. Quiet. Kick that sucker off the edge. All right, you leave this to me. 
You're getting old and weak as you age. Your rage subsides and you find yourself less willing to take passionately in negative positions. Interesting. Oh, wow. You got through my, uh... My whatchamacallit. Interesting. We're technically getting bodied over here. Have they gone over if we automatically recover at the end of battle? Is that a thing? We go on for the risk of business. Wow, that was a five star. Okay. He's a. Uh... Oh, oh my gosh, I've been creating new save data. Oh my gosh, I hate it. I hate it. Now I have to... Can I delete? I cannot delete. I have to, I have to do this in the PS4... Or PS3... Menu. <sighs> Suckle food. Music is a banger, though. Agree with you on that. At least the battle theme is. Tutorial. To initiate an attack chain, first select auto battle or attack from the abilities menu and choose Psycom Marauder as your target. Uh, see the bar displayed beneath the tar uh, your target's name. That is known as the chain gauge. Keep an eye on the chain gauge as you strike. When you attack an enemy, its chain gauge fills. Hit home and the percentage beneath increases. Uh, this percentage is called the chain bonus. The more times you hit an enemy with, uh, or the more damage it will take from subsequent attacks. Continue pummeling the Psycom Marauder, boosting your chain bonus until the gauge is full. Once the chain gauge is full, one further blow will stagger your foe. A staggered enemy takes greater damage when attacked. Chaining attacks to stagger powerful adversaries is essential to defeating them. Be aware, however, that an enemy's chain gauge begins to drain the moment it is staggered. Once the gauge is empty, the enemy will no longer be staggered.
Need to do more damage. Look at that. Automatically changing targets. What is this? What is this? I think volume's fine. I'll check it out in so, post. Soldier. What's your angle? What? Is classified military info? Huh? What's the matter? You quit, didn't you? What, did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody your secret? I'll see. My angle. I'm after the foul sea. Still happy you tagged along. Didn't have a choice. Okay. People need heroes. Here. You keep your cool, and they will too. You got it? Got it. What's our motto? The army's no match for Nora. That a boy. Suckle Foo Snow. Do you think it's kind of funny that in the tutorial it tells you to play the way you want to play, but like there's no options or anything at this point in the game? It is, uh. It is kind of funny. I mean, there is attack and there's blitz. I guess you could just blitz all the time if you wanted to. This game is very plentiful with the save points. I, I like it. If I wanted to, I could potentially cut this up into 30 minute episodes with how many save points there are. Today, we're all in this together. Our enemies, the Cocoon Sanctum. The dreaded Psycom, no less. What's the dread? Psycom's nothing but a whole bunch of bluster and bullying. They've got nothing on Nora. 
Well, we are the heroes after all. <sighs> Let's prove it. Yeah. yeah. Sanctum's gonna pay for this. Yeah, they all just stopped shooting and are letting us just walk forward. You know, when you think about it like that, this this sequence really does get kind of silly. <laughs> Guys, our guns are not working. Let's walk up to them with our swords. Guys, our guns are not working. Let's walk up to them and punch them. Well, they can't take dirt naps? You've seen zero dirt in this place for them to nap in. That's a good point. Also, earlier, Dante, you said that the AI is too good in this game. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Wait until, uh, you know, some, some paradigms start coming along. Soldiers everywhere. Yo, boss, what's the plan? Charge in, guns blazing. Hey, that's not a plan. Real heroes don't need plans. That's why there's no real heroes in the world, because they're all dead because they didn't have a plan. there were sound settings. This game really needs them. Maybe if I got it on as always. Hit him hard and hit him again. Uh, PC. Or maybe if I played on PC. I'm not buying the game again. Oh, also Dante. I don't know if I... Um, a, a while back... We were talking about when you were playing um, uh, Final Fantasy X. I think you were talking about how when I was going to play the game, you know, if I was going to play the remaster or the original. And I think I said that I was going to play the original because that's the only one I have. I actually do have the remaster. I, I saw it in my box when... Uh, when I was picking out this game for today. And I was like, oh. Kids go behind now. I didn't know that. Well, I guess at some point I didn't know that. But... Right here. Now, it is the PlayStation 3 remaster. HD remaster. So it could still be missing out on uh, uh, features and stuff. But I do have it. 10 and 10 too. moving to Pulse today. We'll clear you a path out of here, so be ready Wait. to... Wait! Let me fight yeah, with you! you can't expect us to just sit here! <laughs> Could 
help. Yep. Please, let us help. <laughs> Okay, then. Volunteers front and center. Here, take Thanks. this one. This one, here you go. Oh, and one for you. Count go me for in. It. Here's yours. Take care now. Just giving them guns right away? Mom? Don't worry. Huh? So what if they're plants? Yeah, feels good. Yeah, uh, nice. They could just shoot everybody yeah, right yeah, now. That's how it works. You sure? Yeah. Moms are tough. <laughs> right. It's the last one, boss. All right, last one. Somebody take it. Uh, yeah. Push comes to shove. Keep him safe. First impression of snow. All top. <clears throat> All right, lay low and you'll be fine. We'll clear out the area. Going home together! Come on! Everybody up! Right. New recruits. On me! Come on. Right. Only Mama stayed behind. As we all know what's gonna happen to Mama. Someone with the name man or guy asked to help. You tell them no. You aren't even named, dude. <laughs> You're definitely gonna die. Uh, same with someone named mother or beloved lady. There's a streamer that I I watch on occasion who uh, who actually uh, his real name is guy. This particular streamer is very good at first-person shooters. Bro, back us up. Did he say bro? His name is Libro. Alright, it's French. Expect him to go by the username just some guy. You're kind of close with the amount of uh, letters involved. He goes by Shorty Guy with two Y's. No heroes left. Because they're all dead. We fight and we 
I say, is this a behemoth? You know, I have no idea when they shake up the battle system in this game, but they they could have afforded to do it sooner. <laughs> Granted, this is probably just my my uh, my prior knowledge taking effect and knowing that the battle system system gets shaken up. You know, it gets more interesting. And, you know, for all respects, this is basically what turn-based combat is for most games. It's just pressing the X button to attack. Especially in the early game, you're not just gonna get spells right away. Stop shooting. I told you, didn't I? Moms are tough. All right, sucker fool. Check yourself. Ain't nothing tough about shooting a rocket launcher. Sorry, Mama. Never meant to hurt you. Never meant to make you cry, but tonight, cleaning out my closet. Sure, this would be a decent time to mark.